let me show you how to use your learning curve. When I'm given a lesson, the, the neat thing about the learning curve is it really has several applications. What I do first is have people understand that we've created a plane board that's situated at a 68 degree angle. I fit people's putters all the time. The lie angle of the putter really determines the path of the stroke. I believe I'm going to swing my putter on the shaft plane. So what the learning curve does, it allows you to put the heel of your putter up against the plane board so that when you swing, as you go up, you're actually going in on both sides of the stroke. So that's really the first thing I have people realize that they can gain a benefit with the learning curve, understanding that even though this plane board looks straight, because when they swing up, they're going in on the back swing as well as the through swing. A common mistake really is people that maybe are taking it outside on the back swing or the through swing, they'll have a difficult time keeping the heel of their putter on the plane board. Once they find the rhythm of that, they'll begin to understand, oh, okay, that's what swinging on plane means. The second way that you're going to enjoy using the learning curve is really something that's going to give you a dramatic look. The fun thing is it's actually the same exact swing that you've made on the other side of the plane. But what happens is when you s set up the learning curve and you set your yardstick on the curve of the stroke, now it gives you a great visual of the path. So using it from this angle, you're going to actually set the toe of your putter near the curve and swing back and through without running into it. The idea is that the toe of your putter would stay exactly the same distance the entire stroke from the curve. Yet another way to get a great visual is when I take off my yardstick. Now I have graphics that are on the ground that it's very easy to set my putter on top of. So particularly if you have a line on your putter, you can set up square to the center of this curve, begin to make your stroke, and because of the yellow lines that we have graphically, you're going to see exactly the path you need to go on and the fact that when you swing on plane, your putter face is going to swing on the curve and you want the face of your putter to stay 90 degrees to that curve. And that's the neat thing about what these graphics are going to let you see when you're practicing at home with your learning curve. A really fun fourth way that you can use all this in helping yourself become a more consistent putter is we've put graphics on the yardstick and it allows you to learn how to aim the face. As you set this yardstick down, you can stand behind it and, and get it lined up to the target that you want the ball to start on. And then all you need to do is, is set the face down so that you can visually see that it's aligned perfectly with the T-square on the front of the yardstick. That will help you begin to set up more consistently and have your face aim properly. And it also gives you a look once again at the path of the stroke, which the plane creates, if you swing on plane, you're going to have this tiny curve to your stroke.